We had not only one, but two of the best running backs in the league, and they were playing at an elite MVP level, which had helped us get to a 4-1 record on the year. Can they both keep up this dominant performance, or will our team start to slip in the standings? Let's find out. We would go right to the run game to open up our Week 6 game against the Falcons, as this is what gotten us to such a good record so far, so we were going to try our best to stick with it. We got inside Falcon territory on our first drive, and on 3rd and 7, we would go to Brian Robinson again, this time through the air, as he would pick up the first down for us and Antonio Gibson would cap off this drive. After both running backs helped us get on the board, our defense would go right to work as we would force the Falcons to punt on their very first drive and Jacoby Brissett would respond with a dart of a touchdown throw. Our defense continued to stand strong as we would take back over on offense again up 14 to nothing over the Falcons and we had to rely on our passing game a little more than usual on this drive as it was nearing the end of the first half and we needed to move the ball down the field. We got inside the 10 yard line and Jacoby Brissett would step up and take it on his feet, but he would fumble the football as we would waste an opportunity to score before halftime and to start the second half, Jacoby Brissett would throw the ball away as that was two turnovers in a row from him, but thankfully our defense would get a stop and we would force a turnover on downs against the Falcons on their possession. We now had a chance to score and we were sticking with the ground game going back to Brian Robinson Jr. as he would set us up with a fourth and goal, but we couldn't get it. The Falcons stuffed us on the goal line, but we would get our revenge as that safety would wrap up this game for us and we would get the 16 to 7 victory over the Falcons largely in part due to a great game from Brian Robinson on the ground we were off to the exact opposite start though against the Giants and to make things worse we found out Brian Robinson was out with an injury the run game was not going well at all on our first drive and so we would have to resort to throwing the ball on third and 15 and Jacoby Brissett would be intercepted on his very first pass of the day this would set New York up with excellent field position as they wasted no time scoring on that first drive and Daniel Jones was giving us major problems today in the pocket. He was moving the ball down the field effortlessly with this offense and setting them up with great field position, which allowed Saquon Barkley to finish us off at the goal line. We were down 21 before halftime and we needed some points, so we would go to one of our big playmakers, Antonio Gibson, but we needed to throw the ball further down the field if we wanted to score points, and taking sacks like that just weren't going to help our cause at all. As it was now the fourth quarter and we still had scored zero points, we had a chance to get our first touchdown here on third and goal but Jacoby Brissett would throw a bad pass so we would play it safe and settle for three points. We had another chance for points here at the two minute warning but Jacoby Brissett would go down with a sack and once again we would have to settle for only three points. With less than a minute to go I wanted to get at least one touchdown on the board so we decided to take a deep shot here on second and 19 as Jacoby Brissett would launch it and throw an interception directly to the New York Giants defense and not only that it would be taken back for a pick six. This was one of our ugliest games of the entire season so far, as New York would defeat us 49-6, and this is exactly what happens when we struggle to run the ball efficiently. After that horrible ground game performance last game, I get why the mock draft number two had us taking a right guard with our first round pick, and unfortunately the quarterback we wanted, Randy Hamilton, had now jumped up to be the projected eighth pick in the draft. That loss against the Giants left us tied for first place in the NFC East at 5-2, and, and the team that we were tied with, we were taking on the very next game. We wanted to make sure we committed to the run game early and often this matchup, but it wasn't starting off too well for us as we were backed up to a third and 13 and wouldn't be able to convert. That didn't mean we were going to give up on the running game though as we couldn't get discouraged and had to stay consistent with it today. As we saw last game, what can happen if we don't stick with it? While our offense hasn't had much success, our defense has today as they have held Philly scoreless through the first half and that would allow us to strike first. We couldn't get too ahead of ourselves though as we were taking on Jay Jalen Hurts and Devontae Smith who were a deadly combo and they had every right to take Jacoby Brissett not as seriously as he has shown throughout this season he is not a great quarterback and will make many plays like this that the Philadelphia Eagles would take back for a pick six to take the lead. Jacoby Brissett was looking to redeem himself though on second and four he would take a shot to the end zone but it would fall incomplete and we would have to settle for three points. Only down by four we would go for it here on fourth and inches and it would pay off as the running game now has started to pay off for us. But Brian Robinson would go down with another injury. We would bring in Antonio Gibson to try to finish off the job on the goal line for us, but he wasn't able to do it and we would have to settle for three points again. That seemed to be a major reoccurring theme for our offense this season. But somehow we still had the lead and Brian Robinson was back in the game to secure a first down for us as that would force the Eagles to use their last timeout and we would kick one last field goal as time expired to walk away with a victory 
victory, 19 to 14 over the Philadelphia Eagles, in which we looked so much better on the ground game this week. After beating a tough team like the Eagles, I thought we had an easy week against the one and seven Patriots, especially with them being led by Mac Jones at the quarterback position. And that seemed to be the case early on in this game as we were moving the ball effortlessly down the field our first drive, as both the passing game and running game were working to perfection for us so far. That would quickly change though as Jacoby Brissett would look to throw and he would be picked off by Matthew Judon of the Patriots defense and this would be taken all the way back for yet another pick six in two weeks. Despite the struggles on offense though, our defense was doing a good job of containing Mac Jones, but the Patriots had still gone up 10 nothing over us and we needed some points badly on this drive, but Jacoby Brissett would instead throw his second interception of the day to the Patriots defense. Our defensive line though was still having no problem forcing pressure on Mac Jones and that was the only reason that we were still in this game as we would lean on Brian Robinson Jr. and he would get us all the way down to the goal line and would cap off this drive with a touchdown. New England wasn't far behind though from that touchdown as Mac Jones would drop back to throw but he would throw it away and thankfully what could have been a touchdown was only a field goal for them. We had a prime opportunity to take the lead here right before halftime over the Patriots and we were inside the 10 yard line as Jacoby Brissett would throw his third interception of the day and waste another opportunity. Clearly the passing game wasn't working so we had to stick with the running game and doing that would give us the lead here in the fourth quarter as we continued to lean on Brian Robinson. Unfortunately we would stall out and have to take three points and we were trying to seal the game here on fourth and three as we would set up the halfback screen but Robinson would be short. After that defensive stop the Patriots now had a chance with great field position to take the lead as on first and ten Mac Jones would drop back to throw and he would throw a dart to the end zone for a touchdown and now we had one last chance with Jacoby Brissett leading the offense down the field and he would throw his fourth interception to the New England defense as we would end up losing what I thought was an easy game this week despite us having one of our best rushing attacks this season. Halfway through the first season Jacoby Brissett has already thrown for 19 interceptions and it's clear that Brian Robinson is the front runner for our team MVP and is even top four in the NFL in rushing leaders. While he may not win league MVP, hopefully he can continue to make a difference for this team the rest of this season.